So something that I think is quite important, even for sprint athletes, is that they do more of an aerobic capacity work and things that they're not naturally attuned to doing in an early phase before competition. Let's say the competition is in month six of the year. I would want people the prior year, let's say uh, November, December, even if they're sprint orientated people to be doing more of the aerobic work. So longer rides or longer efforts, probably an hour's uh, attached to a bike for a sprint is an enormous amount of time. But it's one of the reasons behind that is to increase the aerobic capacity so that the training that they do is more achievable. If you're doing multiple efforts of only 10 seconds, literally the recovery between and how those efforts go is partly determined by the ability of the aerobic system to get you through that session. So it won't improve the speed over one specific 10 second effort, but it will improve the quality of the session overall. So if you look at it from an energy point of view, from the energy system's perspective, we look at the first energy system that's recruited under maximal conditions, which is the ATP-CP system. So adenosine triphosphate or adenosine triphosphate, however it's said, and creatine phosphate combine, and you have about up to 10 seconds of that in storage. So it's an, an emerge, it's effectively an emergency fuel. A lot of these things, especially when we come to the anaerobic system, historically is almost a flight or fright system. It's a, the caveman thing. It was what you needed to do to catch dinner and what you needed to do to avoid becoming dinner. So having that instant available energy was that which kept you alive effectively many, many years ago. We now aren't necessarily very often in those situations. But this situation that we are in is in a sporting environment where we can bring that into play. So if you're wanting to enforce changes in that system to make the most of the ATP CP system, 10 second efforts is absolutely that which you should be doing. There's not likely to be as much as 12, 13, 14 seconds in that system. But if you're training for that period of time in an effort, then you're knowing that you're maximizing that which that system can do. You're also, when you're putting that under pressure, you're able to then work on the system, replenishing that as quickly as possible, ready for your next one. So in that situation, that's handy for a sprinter who's doing the training for a sprint, but you're also then training the system if somebody's doing multiple sprints in a points race or elimination race, or the bunch of races on the track that they can then repeat that high power activity.